Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back with a product called the Sharper Image Light Board Go. It is an LED writing pad, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's video. All right, so I have to admit, this is not the video I originally planned for today. I had a completely different product I was working on, but it ended up being defective, so I had to kind of scramble for something else. Went to Walmart, hit the SC on TV section. I saw this, it looked interesting. It kind of reminded me of the Magic Pad I did a couple years ago, but maybe an adult version of that. So I picked it up, and today I'm trying it out. I unboxed it earlier, and here's how that went. All right, let's take a look at the Sharper Image Light Board Go. They say it's an LED writing pad with stand. Large LED display, seven light modes, wipe clean surface, three washable markers, magnetic mount. They also say it has a built-in kickstand. All right, we've got uh, some instructions here. I will read these over. We got some markers. All right, here we go. Now I paid 30 bucks for this at Walmart. I did find an Amazon listing for this. Now people on Amazon who liked it, they said kids enjoy playing with it. Others liked the magnetic feature for sticking notes to the fridge. A lot of people liked using it for various lists. The main con I saw online is that people said it's hard to keep clean or fully erase. So we'll have to see how that works. All right, so I'll uh, read these over and then we'll get started. All right, so for my first test, I just wanted to try out the different light modes. I wanted to see how well it writes on there, how it races, and here's how that went. All right, after looking over the instructions here, I've got a few more observations. Number one, the pens can be stored, well, at least one of them can be stored in this little slot right here, although it's a little bit difficult to get in there. It does store it, but it's a little, it's a little bit awkward putting it in there. Next up, um, I did put some batteries in here. It requires three AA batteries, not included. There's a kickstand back here, which is sometimes difficult to open, but not always. There is a button here. You press for four seconds to turn on or off. Press once to cycle through the different colors. For the lighting modes, mode one is blue and purple, two is blue and white, three is red and yellow, and the next four have a whole bunch of colors they just cycle through. On the tip section, they say to use in a darkened room, use only the included markers, wipe display only with a damp, non-abrasive cloth. I've got one of those here on the side. Don't, don't use paper towels. Clean it within 24 hours of use to avoid staining, and don't use any kind of cleaners on it. So let me uh, turn some lights off here, get a little darker, and try it out. Right, here we go, I'm gonna press the button for the first time. And we've already got some fingerprints on there. Hopefully it hasn't been on there more than 24 hours. It's going to stain. Wow, I'm, I've already got fingerprints. Are those mine? I don't think they are. I don't think I touched the screen. Let me see here. Oh, that looks terrible. They say also not to uh, use it when it's wet, so now I have to wait for it to dry before I can use it. So we're off to kind of a bit of a slow start here. So I'll wait for this to dry for a little bit, and then I'll get started. Oh, that looks nice. Much brighter than I thought it was going to be, so it looks like it cycles between blue and purple. I get it. Okay. So let's try the different modes here. So that's blue and purple. Next up should be blue and white. This is the blue, and that's supposedly white, although it looks like a light blue to me. Mode three is red and yellow. Mode four is purple, blue, light blue, green, yellow, white, and red. It's just a whole bunch of them. And it goes through them pretty quickly, it looks like. All right, mode five, it looks like it's blinking i don't remember it didn't say it's gonna blink but it's blinking all right mode six looks like it's kind of a different type of display as well and then seven this one transitions much more slowly all right i get it so let me, let me go back to the beginning i i kind of like the red and the yellow better though this is my favorite of the bunch so far all right so that that it writes very smoothly you can sign your name I mean, I like the way it feels. It feels like a lot like a dry erase board, though. What I want to do now is turn these lights on and turn this off and see what's actually on the surface because it's kind of hard to tell when it's lit up. You can almost use it without being lit up. It really doesn't look so bad just without being lit up. It does seem to kind of almost smear that white marker. I'm going to use a dry cloth to kind of dry it off a little bit so it doesn't leave anything behind. All right, when, there's, when it's not lit up, it looks perfectly clean. Let's try the light on. Oh, it doesn't look as good. I can see what people are saying that it's just, if you're at all OCD about something like that, it's going to be almost impossible to clean off. Let me try some more here. 
But that's about as good as I can get. It's not perfect, but it doesn't look too bad. All right, so at this point, I wanted to enlist the big guns. Both of my kids are very artistic, so I had one of my kids draw something on there because they do show it being used for artistic purposes. What's interesting, though, is that you only, only have one color and the lights change behind it. The Magic Pad, which is for kids, you have multiple colors. So in some ways, the Magic Pad's better for art than this one is. But the overall experience is very similar to a dry erase board, except for the lights up, but it does time out after about six or seven minutes. All right, so the observations that I got were that the there is a bit of smudging that happens with your hand, but not too bad. I was told it felt a lot like a whiteboard. And the only thing is you really can't erase unless you kind of do something like that with your fingers, but then that smudges. So not much you can really do as far as the erasing goes. I also let this set for about an hour. Let's see if it's stained after that short period of time. Oh, that's just so bad looking. I also seem to think that having another cloth to, to dry it off with is helpful. They don't say to do that, but it seems to be helpful, at least to speed up the process. Otherwise, you have to wait for it to dry, which you don't want to do. It looks like I'm not getting too, too much staining, so that's a good thing. Probably can't see it, but I see a tiny bit of an outline of the drawing. Maybe I have to wipe a little bit more off. Oh, that just looks so bad. Ugh. Yeah, almost made it worse. All right, that's about as good as I'm going to get. It looks like it's, there's not too much staining. I see some random dots here and there that don't seem to want to come off, no matter what you do. I wonder if that, how bad it's going to get after I keep using it. I've only used it a few times so far. All right, so maybe it's not great for art, but how about something like a shopping list? The Amazon listing actually says grocery list in the product description. So I took it to the kitchen for a grocery list, and here's how that went. All right, let's try it on the fridge and see how well it sticks and how functional it really is. All right, the, the magnets hold pretty good. That's pretty firm. I stuck things in this fridge before. They don't hold too well. These magnets are, are solid, so that's good. Let's uh, write something on here. As you can see, I got some smudge marks from my hand down there, which isn't too big of a deal, I guess. Now this light's gonna go off after about five minutes. So it's gonna look like this to most people. That's how most people are gonna see it, which isn't really that bad, honestly. I, I, I don't mind that whatsoever. It actually, it looks perfectly fine without the light on. The only problem is that you can't leave it there more than 24 hours, it's gonna stain. So you better have your list ready to go pretty quickly. And obviously you're not gonna take that to the store, but you can maybe take a picture of it. So I don't, I don't know, I guess it's possibly functional to some extent. I don't know, maybe. You could probably just get a whiteboard for the same thing. And you don't have to worry about batteries, you don't have to worry about the lights, anything like that. So I, I don't know, I'm on the fence still. So when I went to make a list of pros and cons, there weren't really a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons. So the problem with a shopping list is that if the lighted feature really won't help you there, it times out after about six or seven minutes. At that point, you could just use a dry erase board and call it good and you don't have to worry about batteries. The other thing is they say that if you leave right on there for more than 24 hours, it can permanently stain it. So you gotta use your list fast if you wanna use it as a grocery list. You have to let it dry between uses. I used a towel to kind of speed the process up, but it means you have to have two towels on hand to use it, or a wet one and a dry one. If you want to have Junior in the back seat of the car drawing when he's bored in the entire trip, this is not really a very ideal situation. There's no indication where to get the replacement pin, so when you run out, I'm not sure if you can find anything that works for that. And finally, it uses batteries, which are not included, by the way. It'd be much better if it was rechargeable, but, but it's not. So I'm not really sure the purpose of this because it seems like it's not very good for lists. It's not very good for artwork. So I'm not sure what it's good for. Maybe at first it's kind of good as a novelty item, but for practical uses, I'd rather use a dry erase board than use something like this. But if you've used the Lightboard Go, tell us what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.